Humankind has always been innovative when it comes to improving the quality of living on Earth. For our ancestors, the journey started with sculpting rocks to hunt better, then it was keeping the fire going to stay warm, building houses to stay safe, figuring out how to grow and harvest crops, and inventing writing to pass on the accumulated knowledge. No matter what the next challenge was, we have always excelled at observing our surroundings and blending in all the knowledge we had to come up with something new and even better. Our journey with electricity has also started just like that. At first, it was only static electricity. It was dissipating so quickly that we needed some way to store the electricity to experiment with it in the first place. Leiden jars were the very first capacitors which allowed scientists to experiment with electricity in the 18th century. Actually, they were nothing more than a modified glass jar. It had two conducting metal foils on the inside and the outside of a glass piece to capture electrons between two parallel plates electrostatically. Today, this simple phenomenon, electrostatic manipulation of charges, is still in use in capacitors that one can find in every electronic device. With the advancements in material science and nanotechnology, today we're able to store energy equivalent to trillions of light and jars in a space smaller than a fine grain of sand, but we still need to do better. In the fluid interface reactions, structures and transport EFRC first center, we look at the interface between conducting porous electrodes and the electrolytes containing ions that facilitates the storage of electricity in the form of electrostatic or chemical energy in electrochemical capacitors. In the last 10 years, our center's intensive efforts resulted in one of the most promising and exciting nanomaterial discoveries of this century for not only energy storage, but also for optoelectronic and many other applications. Those are maxines, which were discovered at Drexel University in 2011. Maxines are few atoms thick two-dimensional carbides and nitrides that are like sheets of paper, but about 100,000 times thinner. These nanoflakes are highly conducting, like metals, offer tunable surface chemistry, and exhibit fast redox activity, which is key for the development of high-power, high-energy devices. Through extensive interaction of researchers from a variety of backgrounds, such as material science, computational physics, chemistry, neutron sciences, and electrochemistry, we are making discoveries at the frontiers of energy storage sciences that will be impossible for any single research group. We establish fundamental understanding of the behavior of electrochemical interfaces at the nanoscale and are carving the path to the development of the next generation of supercapacitors as well as hybrid devices combining the advantages of capacitive and redox processes that will store energy from renewable sources, power transportation, future electronics, and the Internet of Things. This research can help us create a truly sustainable, technologically advanced, but also an environmentally conscious society.